It's been a while since we've posted a video on YouTube and leading up to this moment, I've actually created a lot of content but wasn't happy with the structure or the quality so I never ended up posting it. I really value creating quality content but just like training, if you aim for the perfect time, you're never going to get things started. So moving forward, I really want to transition into long form content. There's just so much more value you can give. Short format doesn't really allow me to showcase my full personality. Anyways, we moved to Melbourne recently and you can probably hear by the echo, the house is still not finished. But I wanted to make this video before moving forward to keep me accountable with my goals and to also mark the start of a new chapter. So I've lived in Sydney for the past 10 years. Before that, I was originally born in the Philippines, left when I was around seven and moved overseas to Dubai. I went to an American school there and that's where I picked up my accent. I get a lot of you guys ask me why I sound American or why am I faking an American accent? My accent changes a lot because I grew up in so many different parts of the world. The past year and a half has been absolutely fucking crazy. I started creating content on TikTok the first round of lockdown and that absolutely changed my fucking life. Since then, I've just been really focusing on growing my social media presence, my branding, my business. And although everything was scaling and growing, the one thing I didn't focus on was my relationships, myself, my life quality and my mental health. I just came back from America again, traveling there almost every six months at this point. And during that dieting period, I did start to develop disordered eating habits, you know, forcefully vomiting food out. And it was just emotionally exhausting. I constantly woke up feeling either fat, skinny. I just wasn't happy with the way I looked and I just hated the way I feel. On top of that, I spent over $150,000, which is a fuck ton of money, at least to me anyways. So there was a lot of financial and social media pressure. I bought my first investment property, bought my dream car, invested in more coaches and more mentors, and also traveled to Canada, Miami, and LA. Michaela also went away for about a month, and before we started dating, she was actually my best friend. I know it sounds a little bit corny or cliche, but that's just how it was. I like to keep my circle small, and despite the growth of social media, despite the growth of business, she never changed her expectations of who I am. She was very respectful of my resources and she would do her very best to help me grow even just as friends. So one thing people don't really talk about social media is that as you continue to grow your following, grow your businesses, have people see you succeed, you come across a lot of people with poor intent and trust becomes a very difficult thing to develop. So because of that, I like to keep my circles very small and Michaela was the only person I hung out with. So when she went away, I didn't really have anything else to do other than train and work and that just became a toxic cycle. I was sleeping for three to four hours a night, waking up at 4.30 in the morning and just going to the gym and pumping content, dealing with clients. It was a lot. For a while, I kept asking if I was just playing victim, should I stop bitching, complaining and just get shit done. But I did come to a point where performing basic tasks became really difficult. I couldn't really focus on doing anything and I just started to resent the whole process. So for the past month or so, for the first time in my fucking life, I decided to take a step back. I decided to prioritize myself, my mental health, and try to relearn how to become a little bit more human. Because I operated so systematically and I didn't really enjoy the process so I taught myself how to become emotionally numb and just mute the shitty feelings. Now, I'm not saying this is healthy and I'm not saying this is what you should do and I'm not saying I'm super successful, but this was my journey and my story. I want you to understand that life comes in seasons. If you really want something bad enough, you need to be willing to eat shit. You need to be so hungry and so desperate for growth that you're willing to do anything and sacrifice whatever the fuck it takes to get there. You need a clear goal and a clear purpose because without it, you're just going to be drifting around and wasting valuable time. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I decided to leave Sydney and move to Melbourne. History being one of the main reasons. I started to develop a bit of a trauma response, living in my room from day to day, lacking human interaction. So being in that environment just made things more difficult than it should have been to perform certain tasks. I did live with my parents and my family, but barely spoke to them because I was just so tunnel vision on making money growing my businesses and growing social media. I was always so angry, short tempered. I just, I wasn't fun to be around and I was just so unnecessarily rude and aggressive. I spoke to my parents like business partners. I neglected my relationship with my brothers, with my partner. It just wasn't a healthy state to be in. I was also so fucking sick of old friends constantly popping back in my life after they see me trending on social media, asking to feature in a video or hang out or catch up. And don't get me wrong, I love to help out, but life isn't free fucking handouts and I had to work very hard and sacrifice a lot to be able to get to where I am today. If you're trying to be a part of high performing circles, you need to start focusing on how you can add value to their lives. 
not what you can take from them. And this should come from a genuine place as well. Relationships are a value exchange. And value doesn't necessarily mean finances. This can be knowledge, energy, resources, or even network. The minute one party from the relationship starts to feel like they're not benefiting, whether that be platonic or romantic, it will come to an end. In Sydney, I didn't feel like I had that support network. I didn't really feel connected with too many people. And if I did, they lived very far away. So despite social media and business doing really well, I was fucking unhappy. If you're going to take anything out of this video, I want you to understand that money doesn't mean happiness. And before when I had absolutely nothing, I thought that was the dumbest shit I've heard. Something I wish I learned and understood earlier was that quality of life within itself is an investment. Now that doesn't mean to go out and buy and spend your money on dumb shit. I understand the car was a little bit unnecessary, but it was still a calculated decision. I had enough liquid asset to purchase that vehicle four times. And even with that, I financed the car. Happiness really comes from within and really comes from a shift of perspective. You need to define what success means to you because I can guarantee even if you make millions of dollars a year, if you don't decide to make that internal shift, that cycle of unhappiness is never going to fucking end. But having said that, if you're just starting your journey and haven't built anything for yourself, to get to places in speeds which other people aren't unable to do, sacrifices have to be fucking made. Actions of which others are not willing to do must be done. Believe in yourself, understand your fucking capabilities, but also create your own limitations. Know your goals, know your vision, and understand why you're doing what you're doing. Moving forward, I really wanna use YouTube as a platform to be able to build my relationship and connection with you guys. I want you guys to understand that I'm just another dude with fucking dreams and decided to put the reps in day in, day out. I wanna be able to show things I do outside of training as well and continue to add value to your lives. Hoping to shift your mindset, your perspective, and maybe to even inspire you to get started on your own journey. I want to build this community together and continue to grow the fitness industry in Australia. Life is really what we fucking make it out to be. You are in control of everything that happens around you. Whether that be good or bad, it's your fucking fault. Take responsibility for the outcomes of your actions. Once you come to this realization, you're going to understand that everything is in your control. Have a goal, have a vision. Know what needs to be done to get to where you want to be.